Uh, let's take a look at our second example here in uh, box H. Uh, we're told that Henry is a car mechanic and he charges a flat fee of $25 to inspect a car plus $10 per hour while working on it. Complete the following table and graph the relation. Be sure to include all the necessary information. So here they're giving us a description in words of a linear relationship. And you know it's a linear relationship because you see these sort of these key terms, flat fee and something per hour. Okay. So they're giving us a description in words. They want us to come up with a table and then take our table of values and convert it into a, a graph here. Well, let's see. Uh, they've given us values for hours worked, and we want to just figure out the cost of repairs from the information that we're given here. So if you work zero hours on it, um, how much is it going to cost? Well, he charges a flat fee of $25 no matter what. So even if he doesn't spend any hours working on repairing this, he's still g it's still going to cost $25 just to look at it. If he spends one hour working on it, well, each hour is going to add another $10. So we still have to pay that flat fee plus another $10 gives us $35. Two hours, we add on another $10. So it'll be 45. And I think it's pretty obvious that it's going to go 55, 65, and then $75 for five hours. Now, let's graph our relationship here. So let's see, we've got hours worked, cost of repair. Hours depends on the cost. Nope, it's the other way around. The cost depends on the number of hours. So we're going to put our dependent variable, cost, up here. And we're going to put our independent variable, hours, down here on the um, x-axis. And then we're going to plot these points. So 0, 25, 1, 35, 2, 45, 3, 55, 4, 65, 5, 75, way back there. Right, and I think it's pretty obvious now that we've graphed it that this is a linear relationship. I mean, we could also see that from the table because our first differences um, were all the same here. Okay, so we've got our graph. Next, we're asked to develop an equation for this relationship using the letters C and H. Okay. Well, C, obviously, is going to represent the cost. H is going to represent hours. So how do we figure out the cost from the number of hours? Well, let's see. We had this 25, no matter what. So that's like our fixed rate, or, or sorry, our flat fee or our fixed cost. So we're going to have that no matter what goes on. And then we're going to add to it $10 times the number of hours we have, because it was $10 per hour. So C equals 25 plus 10H, or C equals 10H plus 25. And that puts it back in that familiar form, Y equals MX plus B, where instead of X and Y, we have H and C. Well, let's take a look at the next couple of questions here. What is the rate in this problem, and what does it mean? Well, we go back. Our key that something is the rate here is when we see per something. So what we've got here is we've got $10 per hour. So that's going to be our rate, $10 per, let's try that again per hour. What does it mean? Well, what does it represent? This is the cost per hour. Remember, we can always just look at what we have plotted on our axes here. We've got cost per, and then we've got hours down here. Okay. What is the vertical intercept of this line, and what does it mean in this question? Well, let's see. Our vertical intercept, where our line crosses this axis, is 25. So 25 our y-axis is in dollars, so $25. What does this represent? This represents our flat fee or our fixed cost or whatever you want to call it. 
does this relationship exhibit partial or direct variation? Well, remember, direct variation, the line goes through the origin, 0, 0. Does our line go through? Nope. So this is partial variation. Okay, and we could say something like line doesn't go through uh, zero, zero. Um, and what if we didn't have a graph? How could we tell? Well, we could tell because in our equation back here, our y-intercept, 25, this, this number here that represents our y-intercept, or our b value, um, is not zero. So we could have said um, b or a y-intercept does not equal zero. Find the cost of a seven, seven and a half hour repair job. This is pretty straightforward. We're just going to use our equation. Our equation was um, that our cost was 10h plus 25. What they're giving us here is a value for h. So let's just sub that into our equation. 7.5 plus 25. And let's expand and simplify, or let's evaluate uh, using order of operations. 10 times 7.5 is 75 plus 25. 25 75 give us 100. So the cost is going to be $100. And we're done.